हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर सेवन कंजर्वेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी नेशनल पार्क प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर एंडेंजर्ड एनिमल्स रेड डाटा बुक माइग्रेशन रिसाइकलिंग ऑफ पेपर एंड रिफोरेस्टेशन फर्स्ट कम टू द वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज प्रोवाइड प्रोटेक्शन एंड सुटेबल लिविंग कंडीशन टू वाइल्ड एनिमल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल पचमरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी पीपल लिविंग इन वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज आर अलाउड टू डू सर्टेन एक्टिविटीज सच एज ग्रेजिंग बाई देयर लाइव स्टोक इन हिंदी पशु कलेक्टिंग मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स फायरवुड एटसेट्रा सम ऑफ द थ्रेटंड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स लाइक ब्लैक बक white eyed buck elephant golden kite pink headed duck gharial mars crocodile python rhinoceros etc are protected and preserved in our wild life sanctuaries with the with the help of diagram you must be identified these animals this is black buck this is golden kite this is pink headed duck this is gharial this is mars crocodile this is python and this is rhinoceros indian sanctuaries have unique landscapes broad level forest mountain forest and bush lands and deltas of big rivers with the help of pictures you can understand this is broad level forest this one is mountain forest in hindi parvati one and this is bush lands clear yeah? protected forest are not safe because people living in the neighborhood encroach that is enter without permission upon them and destroy them national park national parks are large and diverse enough to protect whole sets of ecosystem they preserve flora fauna landscape and historic objects of an area for example satpura national park it is the first reserve forest of india okay and in the previous video of this chapter we have discussed the differences between wild life sanctuaries and national park the finest indian teak is found in this forest this teak is a one tree okay this is found in the satpura national park okay we can say this diagram also satpura national park which is in madhya pradesh project tiger project tiger was launched by the government on the 1st of april 1973 to protect the tigers in the country the objective of this project was to ensure the survival and maintenance of the tiger population in the country for example satpura tiger reserve you can see this is the entrance of this satpura tiger reserve pachmadi in madhya pradesh okay and one thing you have to also remember it is july 29 it celebrated as a international tiger day every year endangered animals animals whose numbers are diminishing that is kam hona to a level that they might face extinction extinction means vilupt hona or samapt hona are known as the endangered animals survival of some animals has become difficult because of the disturbances in their natural habitat in order to protect plants and animals strict rules are imposed in national parks human activities such as grazing poaching two meanings in hindi we are having bina aagya pravesh karna aur avaidh shikar hunting capturing of animals or collection of firewood and medicinal plants etc are not allowed ecosystem 
An ecosystem is made of all the plants and animals and microorganisms in an area along with known living components such as climate, soil, river, deltas, etc. It means that it is living things and known living components both make the ecosystem. Red data book. Red data book is the source book which keeps a record of all the endangered animals and plants. This is maintained by India and this is also maintained at the world level. Okay. And there will, uh, there will be the number of parts. Okay. This one diagram of this, the red data book on Indian animals part 1 vertebrata. That is mammalia, aves, reptilia and amphibia. These are recorded in this book. Migration. Migration is the phenomena of movement of species from its own habitat to some other habitat for a particular time period every year for a specific purpose like breeding. Birds who cover long distances to reach another land are known as migratory birds. And I think you are familiar with these two names, Siberian crane, see this diagram, and greater flamingo. This is the diagram. These are the migratory birds. Migratory birds fly to far away areas every year during a particular time because of climatic changes. They fly for laying eggs as the weather in their natural habitat becomes very cold and inhospitable. Recycling of paper. Another cause of deforestation is making papers. That is whatever the papers we are using, these are obtained from the trees. Okay. It takes 17 full grown trees. Remember 17 full grown trees to make one ton of paper. Clear? Therefore, we should save paper. Paper can be recycled five to seven times for use. In if each student saves at least one sheet of paper in a day, we can save many trees in a year. Okay? We should save reuse used paper. Remember, reuse used paper, used paper. And we have to recycle them. Okay? Like if newspapers coming to our home, don't destroy them, save them. Okay? Save them and Give to the person who is collecting these newspapers for recycling. Okay. And for this, you can also get the money from that person also. That is Kabad. Kabad Wala. Okay. By this, we not only save trees, but also save energy and water needed for manufacturing paper. Moreover, the amount of harmful chemicals used in paper making will also be reduced. Is that clear? So, dear student, try to save the paper. Then how can you save it? Use both sides of your no paper of your notebook. Okay, both the sides. And leave minimum, uh, minimum margin when you write in your answer sheet during the examination. Okay, and don't throw any waste paper. Okay, keep it and sell it. Okay, and that paper will recycle again and again. Okay, student? Reforestation. Answer to deforestation is a reforestation. Clear? Yeah? Now, what is the meaning of reforestation? Reforestation is the restocking of the destroyed forest by planting new trees. Restocking means fir se ikhatta karna. Whatever we have destroyed, we have to recollect them. Okay? That is called restocking. The planted trees should generally be of the same species which were found in that forest. We should plant at least as many trees as we cut. Reforestation can take place naturally also. If the deforested area is left undisturbed, it reestablishes itself in natural reforestation, there is no role of human beings. 
if we have to retain our green wealth for future generations plantation of more trees is the only option clear that's why plant more trees india have forest conservation act this act is aimed at preservation and conservation of a natural forest and meeting the basic needs of the people living in or near the forest clear student thank you subscribe my channel if not subscribed yet okay